My name is Sarah and uh, my husband is in army. So the MOD have decided to hold an inquiry into service accommodation. Grant Shapps, the Secretary of State for Defence, has forbidden serving personnel from contributing. Now the word forbidden is a red rag to a soldier anyway. It's a bit like being told somewhere is out of bounds. Tell them they can't and naturally they will. Can't means won't and won't means jail. When cookhouses were decent back in the day, telling a married soldier they can't eat in there was seen as a challenge. Curfews and two can rules are viewed as a guideline. Don't touch filthy Fiona with a stick because she's riddled is just a suggestion. There's nothing stopping spouses, civil servants or recent leavers having their say. Robert Courts, MP, Chair of the Sub-Defence Committee, has written to the MOD asking why the very people this affects are being excluded. Social media has already exposed appalling SFA conditions, so will these soldiers who posted videos and photos now be reprimanded as technically they are bringing the army into disrepute, which contravenes the MOD's social media policy? Put up and shut up isn't an option here if the forces want to encourage new joiners and retention. Hey, work for us and we'll give you a free water feature in your living room, sporadic heating and black mould that will put hairs on your kids' lungs. Interestingly, the last SFA inquiry held on the 15th of December 2011 welcomed written or oral evidence and even provided a guide on how to submit it. What happened there was, soldiers spoke up and the MOD didn't like it much. Forces veteran Charlie Radcliffe, trustee of Living Options and not the 5th Earl of Derwentwater, has offered to submit evidence on behalf of serving soldiers, so let him be your voice. But what do I know? I'm just a simple wifey.